What's up, guys? It's Trickster. Um, <clears throat> I had a point of like making making this video, and I was, and I know um, a couple weeks or so ago, I plan, I was gonna do like a little just chatting video on, on uh, here on YouTube to upload, but um, one thing led to another. I got really busy. Um, so, so here here it is about like here it is like a few weeks late. Um. And this this video I'm kind of talking about like um, for one the new Rainbow Six se uh, Rainbow Six season coming out uh, Solar Raid which I'm really looking forward to and I'm hoping um, Ubisoft fixes the problem uh, before before that uh, se before the season I'm not sure how it is on PC I'm assuming it's better from the some of the streamers I watch on Twitch but um. For like on console, it's gotten very like hard to play it, especially or stream it, play and or stream, I should say. Um, so, so uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping they fix that before before uh, the new season comes. And also, I wanted to, also wanted to talk about like for one, I've been promised about like building a PC, but for right now, I think I like building my PC and getting Windows to finish it up. Um, I think that's gonna have to be put on hold because with the, the Christmas season coming, and I got a and I got uh, Christmas shopping to do. So, and Windows, um, that's going Um, it's been hard for me to like to try to download Windows 10 because I don't have a normal laptop. I'm using a Chromebook to record this, and my sister doesn't have an actual like good enough laptop. I would say to download it. Um, so. Uh, <clears throat> so right now I gotta um, go and buy Windows 11 from like Best Buy or do it off of Amazon but I think I'd rather just do it off of Best Buy like go there and buy it and not wait for it so long so <laughs> um, so but for right now the PC is on hold and sadly for me um, and what else oh um, I kind of also want to talk about like video games in general because I've it kind of drives me nuts when people like say like when, because of me like playing Rainbow Six and I, you run into players that are trash talking and like say and like because I play casual on on uh, Siege and I very solemnly play um, ranked you end up hearing the phrase get good and get good. Like, you guys are trying so, like, people are trying so hard and casual, it's hard to have, like, any fun. Like, like, lately I have been, and luckily enough for me, I'm not sure if, like, the problem is fixed or if I'm not just, like, running into the problem as much with Siege on console where it's crashing. But, um, I've been actually having some good, like, good games, good games and some glitches here and there. But, like, I just, it just feels to me that some... Like, uh, some of the kids, <laughs> basically kids, because I'm older than most of the, pe I'm older than most of the gamers on console or PC, because I'm, I'm 24, I just turned 24 uh, this month, <laughs> um, but like, I, for me playing video, video games, it wasn't about like, like for some of these people, like some of these gamers that are on now that are playing for apparently for some goddamn reason that they got to try so hard on like our on console on casual and like there's for one on console there's nothing special about winning like there's i mean there's tournaments but those are like nothing i think it's all more their pc people's trying so hard like and like if you were if that's your version of like fun that's that's not fun in my opinion that's just a waste like you know like you put more time into the game than you do in actual life like for me i have an i outside of gaming i actually have a life like i mean i don't i wish i could play like all day but but um i got shit i gotta i gotta get done as of every adult in the world but um and obviously I'm, like i like I'm trying to make this like my thing so that way I can do it and I have more the more I do this and the more I have stuff outside of my out in my personal life to do but like video games are 
meant to ha- have fun. It doesn't matter like if it's anything from the games I grew up on, like playing Ultimate Alliance. If you guys remember these games, you are a real, real OG, like an OG. <laughs> um, I played Ultimate Alliance, which is one of the best superhero games ever. I don't care if anybody says like Avengers, Spider-Man, or whatever. Like superhero game in general, Ultimate Alliance is the best. The first one. Um, Over the Hedge, that was the best uh, cartoon game I ever played when I was a kid. Racing game-wise, uh, Burnout Revenge, uh, uh, Takedown. That was the main racing game I played, and that's what got me into racing. And then I discovered Call of Duty. But, like, those games were fun. And Siege is fun, but I'm playing for fun. I'm not playing to, like, break a record of, like, say, say like, get, like, get so many fucking kills in casual. Uh, get over ten... Get over a uh, ten, ten kill and if lucky, a minimum of five, of less than five deaths or whatever. I'm not playing for that. I'm playing to have fun. Like, yes, I might try hard sometimes, and I may try to like get the win. But I, all in all, like when it comes to siege or like if uh, lately I've been playing Call, uh, Call of Duty Warzone and hopefully um, Modern Warfare Two once I get my PC done or I might finally crack and buy it on ps4 just just so i can play it it's you got i'm i'm trying to have fun that's the that's the point of video games and people take it so seriously and people say i take it seriously but like i'll tell you why uh, like i take it seriously like growing up i didn't have any friends i was homeschooled i didn't i took care of my grandmother and i'd never had I never got like got out to meet people, and I was the shy kid. So, I w- so video games were was like my escape from the world, and just like any other guy that plays video games, that's their main escape. Like any like any guy that that grew, like grew up like me or anything differently, it's our escape from reality, and it just helps. And that was our kind of way to like make friends. Like, that's how I met my friends. Like, some of the people I play with. Like, Doobie, uh, Phoenix Reborn, uh, Peppa, Peppa Doinks, and my, bu- my buddy uh, Og, or Lieutenant Wolfie on here. I'm not sure if he changed his name on it. But, um, like, these guys I play with, they're from different parts of, like, the, the country. Uh, different parts of, the, uh, like, the country. Or I have friends that are from different regions of the world. And it was because of like playing video games online. Finally, I made I've made friends, and I got what, a, and like I have friends like IRL, but that I uh, that I talk to and hang hang with when I can. But that's what that was like. This was my escape, like video games was my escape, and it was my way of just getting out, uh, getting out, getting out of the real world. And people now take it so damn seriously. Like, I get it, like, it's, not, like, with Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Apex, it's a, actu- it, you can actually have it as, like, a job. You can be a pro player, you can do that. Then, here's the thing. If you want that, don't, try in, try doing it in, like, a competitive setting instead of, like, a casual. Because in casual, you're not doing anything. Because you're just, because, like, I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst either. In Siege, I mean, I have, like, I'm, like, I'm lucky to get, like, 10 kills at, at the most. Like, I'm not trying hard, I'm just trying to do, do good. And that's, that's the main thing, main point of the game, besides having fun. You gotta also have, you gotta also, like, <clears throat> play, like, I'd say, like, rank matches or unranked. You gotta do those types of games. Like, uh, sorry, game modes, I should say. Because doing casual, you're just dumpstering a bunch of people that are either haven't played the game in a long time, new people that just got the game who discovered it and wants to give it a shot, and you're just doing try hard things to for one for one to get the win, two to two to ruin the game for for them because that's because after I got siege, I didn't touch it for and after and trying to like get used to the game, I didn't touch it for like a year. After I bought it, 
because of people saying, saying like, oh, you're trash, you suck. Yeah, I know. I just bought the game, and I'm trying to play to get better. And you guys not doing this is not going to help. I mean, I, I mean, I'll say that, like, on a couple of occasions, I, that's, I've done that. But the thing is, it's gotten to a point where, like, everybody's so toxic, it doesn't, like, it's hard to tell, like, if there's, if they're just playing it to, like, fuck you, like, in the game, like, fuck, like, fuck you to the point where you don't, like, you just leave, which is not the way to play a game, or, or if they're, like, actually new, and they don't understand the concept. So, like, it's, like, it's hard, and my main focus is to have fun, my main focus is to, like, be able to do good in the game, which I think I have, which I would say I'm, like, for, like, going full-time and, like, playing Rainbow Six, I've done pretty good, like, my Kate, like, I would say, like, KD-wise for, I haven't checked my own KD, actually, but, like, KD-wise, I think I, I do pretty pretty well when I when I'm like feel when I'm like feeling it and when I'm not you'll and well you'll if you w watch my streams or you watch my vi videos sometimes if I'm feeling it I can do good and if not I'm do I can do shit so like basically the one thing I want just want to say like on topic of like video games in general have fun with it it's a video game like it's a board game except virtual you can't, it's meant to have fun, you're not, it's not meant to be like an asshole. Like, if you want to be an asshole, go to, go to ranked or unranked. Like, if you guys, like, if you guys, guys are, want to try it that hard, and you're trying it on a bunch of people that don't, that are trying to grab the concept of the game, or, like, don't, are not trying at all, trying to have fun, you're not, you, you're not getting a, that's not called a win, that's called, that's called a, that's called get, that's, I don't know what they call it. It's, ba it's not basically... So it's not a earnable win. It's just a waste, in my opinion. Um, but now... But now, like, talk... Now, to talk about, like, so like talk about Siege. The new season of Solar... Solar Raids coming out. I almost said Solar Flare. <laughs> um, the new, se new season Solar Raids coming out. And, and the de Defender is called... Um, shit. I just saw... I just saw it, too. I can't remember the name of the operator, but it's... Defender, and their ability is to see like weapon, like the operator's gadgets, like like see, like if they're doing a drone, like it's drone phase, prep phase, and you go for a drone, go for the drone, you can shoot the drone as it's coming through, as it's coming, as it's coming, or like if the operator has their gadget on and they're using it. Like I think that might be kind of, kind of broken, low key. But hopefully, like with like um, Ubisoft, might try to might try to nerf it just a little. Maybe take care of it so so it's not too broken. So that way you're not getting like if you're playing Jack on you use his uh, his his um, gadget to track you. You're not getting shot, not getting shot before, not getting shot probably through a wall or something. I don't know. But I hope. Um, but I hope the de this. I hope the defenders uh, better than. Well, Grim wasn't too bad, but he's—I mean, he's pretty useful, but it's certain situations, just like any other operator. But um, um, the other thing, rank 2.0 is uh, being added. Also, cr cross-platform is being added too, which is I'm really excited for because I got friends on Xbox that I've been—I really want to play with. They and they haven't been. And I haven't been able to play with them. It's certain games I can play with them that has cross progression. They, I can play with my friend Og, who's on Xbox, who play, he's been playing Siege a, a lot lately, and I can actually play play with him. And me and him, me and him could have fun. And like, but so, <clears throat> so I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to that. Um, what else? Oh, one thing that I'm also happy for. Is that they're getting rid of friendly fire during the prep phase? That I'm I'm happy for. I was happy this season. I can't remember if it was they added it this season, or um, the season that they brought out sense. Um, they they got they added where like if you continuously TK somebody, 
if you continuously TK some but people in matches, you get a you get a reverse friendly fire thing on you, and it lasts for many matches. I'm not sure if it goes off for after a while if you like stop playing. But they finally added that, so I'm happy they added that. Because I've run, I've already run into like se several people that have that have had that in like in a casual matches where they're just like, fuck it, and then they, and then the the idiots forget forget again, and they try to shoot somebody and it rips right back at them. So that's how, I'm glad for that, and I'm glad for like this uh, disable friendly fire during the prep phase. Also, also like for people like me or like any anybody that's not trying to do a TK, like if you try to impact the wall and your and your teammate is too is too close and they're not paying attention, you're not like dropping the health and you don't and you don't get like don't get the thing if you actually if you a accidentally kill them, which is pretty, which is I find pretty cool. So, um. I think that does, I think that just about does it for this for this video. I I would say and I talked about like bit the like just having fun in video games and not being like some, like some of the trolls or tryhards. Um, I'm gonna be waiting on getting Windows for my PC so I can actually play it. Um, and talk about like Siege a little, <clears throat> like. I haven't had a chance to like look at everything new with Siege. I'll be honest because I've like when they announced it, I was I just went like my it was on I think it was last I think it was last week Thursday, and I was busy, and my last work my last off day was Friday, so <clears throat> and I was and I'm and doing my work and doing my off days I'm trying to stream and like do other stuff. So, um, so I'll, so I don't really know much, but I've heard like a, a lot of like cool things that they're adding, and they said it's like going to be their biggest season ever. I honestly can't wait. I already bought like R6 credits for, for uh, the new season because I because I really want to try out the new operator, and hopefully I can without getting a TK because everybody's going to be on the scramble to grab them. But I'm hope. But I'm hoping uh, this season will be pretty damn good, and I'm hoping to be able to play with my friends on uh, X Xbox, so that way, way I can ha have some fun with them. Um, that does it for this vid. Hope y'all, hope y'all and uh, enjoyed it. And if you got like anything to say about what I said, like about anything, or like fill me in about something I missed about like Siege, please, please make sure to let me know down. Down in the comments, please uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe also and turn on notifi notifications. I've broke my my goal is to hit hit a hundred hundred subs and hopefully next I'm currently at 68 I believe. So so hopefully I so hopefully um I don't have like a mark date of like if I want when when I want to hit a hundred subs, but I just want to get there. So. So if you guys enjoy the enjoy the uh, content here, please please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.